This video is about TSI sample questions from College Board. For question number one, if 3t minus 7 equals 5t, then 6t equals. First of all, you need to figure out t equals, then multiply by 6. For 3t minus 7 equals 5t, minus uh, 3t both sides because this is a linear function you need to isolate the variable on one side so i minus 3t both sides you will get the 2t equals negative 7 then divided by 2 you will get t equals negative 7 over 2. so 6t means uh, 6 times uh, negative 7 over 2. Then your answer will be negative 21. So C will be your answer. For number 2, variable x, y are direct proportion. And uh, y equals 2 when x equals 3. What's the value of y when x equals uh, 9? So basically for direct proportion we know that is x1 over y1 equal to x2 over y2 so when you see the y equals 2 x equals 3 i can label this y1 here's x1 and this one will be x2 and we're looking for y2 so I plug in, you have 3 over 2 equals 9 over y2. So you cross multiply, get the y2 equals 18 over 3 and equal to 6. So the answer will be 6. Opposite to direct proportion, we have inverse proportion. So for the inverse proportion, you will write down x1, y1 equals x2, y2. So if it's inverse proportion, if you're looking for the y2, then you will get the x1 times the y1, it will be 6 equals then 9 times y2. So the y2 you will get 6 over 9, reduce will be 2 over 3. So be careful of this kind of questions. Check it's a directly proportional or inversely proportional. For number 3, you have point C has coordinate is a 6, 9. Which of the following is an equivalent of the line that contains points O and C? So points O, that means uh, 0, 0. For this kind of question, just plug in. When you plug in x equal to 0, y must be 0. When you plug in x equal to 6, y must be 9. After you plug in, you could say D will be the answer. For question four, there are three x minus two trees planted in each row of a rectangle parcel of land. If there are a total of 24 x minus 16 trees planted in the parcel, how many rows of trees are there in the parcel? First of all, we know that will be division. So we do the 24 x minus 16 divided by 3x minus 2. For 24x minus 16, we know there is a common factor that's 8. So you will get 3x minus 2. Then over 3x minus 2, then you reduce. Your answer is 8. D will be the answer.
For number five, a group of eighteen people ordered soup and sandwiches for lunch. Each person in the group had either one soup or one sandwich. The sandwich cost seven point seventy five dollars each, and the soups cost four point fifty each. If the total cost of all eighteen lunches was one hundred thirteen point fifty dollars, how many sandwiches were ordered? So, given it's a sandwich, then the soup will be using eighteen minus a sandwich. So you have here is a. Eleven, ten, nine, and eight. Then we just like、uh, plug in. For sandwich, it's a seven point seven five times. That's a number. Then you plus four point fifty. Times this will be the soup, and、uh, it has to be one thirteen point fifty. So this part is a soup, and this part is a sandwich. So we just need to plug in. If I plug in. Here is a seven. That this will be eleven. Did you get this answer? If you didn't get this answer, then check eight and a ten, or nine, and here's nine, or eight and the eight, ten and eight over here. After you checking, you could see one. Here's a ten, and then here's eight. You will get one thirteen point fifty dollars. So D will be the answer. Now let's go to number six. Which of the following equations has both one and a negative three as solutions? Solutions means a x-intercept. Which means if you have like x, then y coordinate must be zero. So just plug in one zero and then negative three and zero coordinates to check that you can get the answer. So the answer will be b for number seven. What's the y-intercept of graph of the equation? Y-intercept you can write down zero y, which means you plug in x equal to zero. Then what's the y-value? If I plug in x equal zero, then you will get the two times the zero plus three, then times the zero minus four. So you will get the two times three times the negative four. You will get negative twenty-four. That's your answer. For number eight, basically is the factoring. If no clue for the factoring, then you can use for you. Then just do the multiplication. Then check the answer. If you do know that.、Uh, Factoring, you can using factoring to do it. We know the a square minus b square equals a plus b times a minus b. So for x four minus one, then I can factor as x two plus one, then x two minus one. Then for x two plus one, I cannot do anything, so I just bring down. 
but x2 minus 1, I can factor x plus 1 times x minus 1. So our answer will be a. Let's go to number 9. For number 9, basically, it's checking for power of a power. We know that it's a m and a b to the nth power, then you do p's power. You will get a to the m p times b to the n p. So I multiplication. I have this one I can write down three third power. X is a sixth power. Y is ninth power. So your answer will be D. For number 10, we can plug in to get the answer. That will be B. If you really want to do the work, get the answer, then you got to do is a square both sides. Then you will get the 5 minus X equals to 16. Then minus 5 both sides, get the negative x equals 11. Then x equals to negative 11. So easy way is a plug-in to check the answer. For number 11, we use cross-multiply. Or you can just plug in check answers, see which one um, you plug in x, then get the 20. But cross multiply is still easy way to do. So we do the x minus 1, we will multiply by 1, then equals 20x. This is a linear, so isolating the x on one side. So I minus x both sides you will get the 19x. Then divided by 19, both sides. The answer will be negative 1 over 19. For number 12, we're looking for that maximum height. So first of all, we know the vertex for quadratic function it will be h equals negative b over 2a. Then k will be f of h. And for this one, you need to change it into standard form. That means h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 32t plus 20. So you have A, here's B, this one is a C. Then your H equals negative B is negative 32 over 2 times negative 16. That means uh, what? Then I plug in. That's K equals I plug in 1 into this equation, negative 16 times 1 squared plus 32 then plus 20. Then you will get the 16 plus 20, that will be 36. So answer will be 36. Now let's go to 13. The yard behind the Cindy's house is rectangular in shape and has a perimeter of a 72 feet. If the length L of the yard is 18 feet longer than the width W of uh, the yard, what's the area of yard in square feet? So first of all, we know that this is a rectangular. So I have L, here's the W. Then we know that it's a 2L plus 2w, that means perimeter is 72, which means uh, l plus w will be 36. And the length is uh, 18 plus w. So you need to solve 
this uh, system of uh, equation by doing substitution. So L is 18 plus W, I plug in to this one, the first one. So I have 18 plus W, then plus W equals to 36. And 18 plus 2W equals 36. So minus 18 both sides, because you need to isolate the variable W on one side, so you get the 18. Therefore, the W will be 9. And the L will be 18 plus 9 equals 27. So 27 times 9, because that will be the area, equals L times W. That means 27 times 9. Your answer will be C, 243. Okay, let's go to number 14. The table above shows the height temperature last uh, Thursday for five cities, A through E. And the median of the Thursday height temperature for these cities was uh, 81. Which of the following could not have been the high temperature last uh, Thursday for city A? This problem is about concept of a median. Median, that means uh, middle number. So you need to list uh, all given four data, B, C, D, E. It will be 62, 81, 87, and uh, 93. We know the median is uh, 81. So 81 will be the median, which means uh, the value has to be between 62 and 81 or lower than 62. Then 81 will be the median. If not, it's not will be the answer. Then you can check that 85, then it's not between 62 and 81 or lower than 62. So A will be the answer. For number 15, there are 20 children in the cast of a class play, and eight of the children are boys. Of boys, four have a speaking part in the play, and of the girls, eight don't have a speaking part in the play. If a children from cast of the play is chosen at random, what's the probability that the children has a speaking part. So from given information, we know altogether boys and girls is a 20. Then we have eight boys. Then we know you will get the 12 girls. Of the boys, four have a speaking part. And for the 12 girls, Eight don't have speaking part. That means four you do have. Then for the speaking part, that means eight people. So eight over 20, that means uh, two over five. That's the A will be the answer.